Well, good morning. Welcome to the second week of our videos. So today I'm in my kitchen and you get to see how I make my smoothies. Before I get to that, I wanted to tell you something about this book. So you're going to be reading the first half of this book before you do any of this. It's an easy read, but at least the first half up to chapter nine, because that's going to give you the bulk of your information for starting this and tips and tricks and things like that. One of the things that it talks about is liver cleansing. Let me read this to you, what she says. The one secret to losing weight and keeping it off is to keep the liver healthy and operating at peak performance. The liver, also known as the fat burning organ, is the number one secret weapon to weight loss. The liver is responsible for breaking down, eliminating and neutralizing toxins in the body and breaking down fats in the body. Therefore, it's essential that we cleanse the liver to improve the body's detoxification capabilities and to help the body metabolize and burn fats. Now, most people who are really overweight like I am, you have what's called fatty liver. And that means there's an excess of fat in your liver and around it. So you have to work through that. So one of the things we've talked about, even Jamil, I believe, has talked about, I think Lindell and Tara, we've all touched on it, for liver, you want to do the Zendocrine and soft gels and also topically. There's other things that you can use that we've talked about detoxing before, but I have used Zendocrine for a very long time, and there's two different ones. You have the soft gels and you have the detoxification one. I've used both, and that's why when I did this program, when I first started, I did the 30-day cleanse of doTERRA that has the Zendocrine in it, both of them, while I was doing the 10 days of this. So I started the 30-day, I went into this, and continued with the 30-day, and continued with my smoothies. That's how I did it. And the detoxification of the liver is very, very important. So just keep that in mind. You want your liver as healthy as possible or your body won't work properly. All right. So now we're going to get into the smoothie. All right. So in the book, it gives you complete recipes of your 10 days and what you're going to do each day. So the one I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with day one. Okay, so day one is berry green. So you do three handfuls of spinach, two cups of water, one apple cord, one uh, cup of frozen mangoes, one cup of frozen strawberries, a handful of seedless grapes, um, one stevia packet, and two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. Now, you can add an optional one uh, scoop of your protein powder. Now, with that in mind, I don't put protein powder in mine. I don't like it. If I need protein powder while I'm doing this, I do it separately and, and drink it as another drink. Um, some people like to put it in their smoothies. It's completely up to you. The kicker is you cannot use anything other than water. So just keep that in mind. Um, place leafy greens and water into the blender and then blend until the mixture is a uh, green juicy like consistency. You stop the blender and add remaining ingredients and blend until creamy. Now, this is if you have a regular blender and you don't have what's a Vitamix or a high powered one that can handle everything all at once. I have a Vitamix. I put it all in together. So just keep that in mind. You will blow up your blender with these if you have just a regular blender and you put it all in at once. So do it in increments and get it situated, okay? All right, so now we're gonna start here. And the one thing I forgot to bring out was my greens. Hang on. So greens it is. Um, I always get the pre-washed greens. So I get them in containers like this and I always get pre-washed. Um, and then I wash them myself again and dry them out with paper towels and put it back in. Now, 
I don't usually use my book. I usually use my uh, phone when I'm doing these recipes because sometimes it's a lot easier. But that's okay. We're going to do it this way. So when I'm doing this, and I don't have near good enough greens in here, I can tell you that right now. I know you're going to laugh at that. This is what I get for not being completely prepared, right? All right, so when I do my handfuls, it's a no-joke handful. So I'm gonna do a handful like this. That's a handful, right? And I drop it in here into my container, okay? So I'm gonna finish off this container with the two handfuls. Okay, then I'm going to dig into my other one. So three handfuls, okay? So by the time I get done, there's that much greens in my, my container, okay? And it goes up from there because when you go into day five or six on, I believe there's four handfuls at that point. So just to give you an idea of what we're going to be putting in here, this is what I have. So you can see this is everything I, I'm going to be putting in. So here we go. I usually follow the recipe in order, but there's one thing I do do out of order, and that's the water. And there's a reason for that. Because when you're putting flaxseed in it and everything else, I like to put that down towards the bottom. So the water puts it through the whole thing. So it'll mix in really good. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some handful of grapes here. And again, I'm not really following the recipe in order right now because I'm not really looking at it. But I've done this so much that um, I kind of know it. So with a handful of grapes, a handful, okay? Enough to hold in your hand. I'm gonna wash them off now. When you're washing vegetables or fruit off, if you don't have organic, or even if you do have organic, a lot of times you can use On Guard to wash this off, or you can use the Abode like Tara has in the past. She's told me that she does that. So you can do that. Now, now that I have my grapes in there, now I'm going to move to my strawberries. So my strawberries, and I'm doing a, let's see, I think I said a cup, right? Is that what I said? I said a cup, right? Oh, yes. It's a cup, a cup, and a cup. Okay, that makes it easy. So, I get sliced strawberries, and I have these nice little things that are just picked which means they're picked and, and flash frozen really quickly. So they're like fresh. And I get sliced ones. You can get whole ones, but they're a little harder to measure. So I try to get the sliced ones because it's a lot easier to measure. So that's a cup, all right? There's a cup of strawberries. So there's my cup of strawberries. So now I'm gonna move on to mangoes. And again, I like this brand. I get it at Wegmans. You guys all may not have that available to you, but I really, really enjoy these. You also need to be careful about the fruit you pick because some of it has sugar in it. It'll add sugar. You want all natural. Make sure you look at the back in the ingredients part and make sure there's no sugar added. It should say just the fruit nothing else okay so then now we're doing a cup of mango okay cup of mango done the next thing you're going to do is you're going to do an apple the way i do my apples is i cut it into quarters and i core out and i basically cut it off with a knife and i put it directly in there skin and all okay this is already pre-washed again wash them you can use the on guard or the abode to clean it up okay 
And you can do that in a simple spray bottle. Or I think Tara said she even uses the dishwashing soap on these kinds of things because it gets rid of the wax. But she rinses it off really well. So that's a good idea. Thank you, Tara. I love that. So I'm going to get a knife here. Yes, my dishwasher is clean. I promise. So now I'm going to cut my apple. And I do this every morning when I go, you know, getting ready for work and things like that. This is what I do. So I usually cut the apple in half after I quarter it. And yes, I do this in my hand. If you don't feel comfortable doing it in your hand, then don't. I just do. That's why I've always cut it. So I take it and I cut it in half, just like that. I'm going to put it in there. All right. Now, when you're blending it, remember, if you have don't have a high power blender, you're going to do the greens first with all the liquid and everything else and get that all mixed up. Then you're going to add your frozen fruit. And I would add your frozen fruit a cup at a time so you're not overdoing your blender. And I promise you, you're not going to over blend it. It'll be fine. You want it completely blended. You don't want it, as we say, chunky. <laughs> so, and when I'm coring my apple, I'm just basically getting the seeds and just that little thing out of the center. I'm not doing too much crazy stuff, okay? So now I have my apple. Well, the next thing I'm going to put is the flax seed. So this is two tablespoons full. So I take my tablespoon. And I still measure it to this day. The only thing that I really eyeball anymore is the fruit and stuff like that. And every once in a while, I will grab the, um, what do you call it? The measuring cup and make sure just to check myself <laughs> and doing it right. So I'm not overdoing the fruit, okay? Because you need fruit, but you can overdo it. Now, this is going to be something that you can do as an option. She adds stevia in a lot of these in the recipes for sweetness and things like that because a lot of people can't handle the greens because it's kind of bitter. Um, spinach is pretty forgiving, but when you get to the kale and, and things like that in the spring mix, it can be a little bit bitey sometimes. So she adds the stevia. That is a personal choice and she gives a listing of other things. Now, as far as the 10 day detox, I do it exactly how it's written. After that, I have adjusted for my own personal thing for my other smoothies. That's your personal choice, okay? So you you use your, your gut or your inspiration or whatever, or listen to your body to get in and that kind of thing. Get into your body and um, check in and see what your body needs, okay? So, now that I have this in here, now I'm gonna do my two cups of water. Now, I don't usually use this here at all. I have filtered water that I use, okay? So I'm gonna use filtered water. And if you don't have filtered water at home or whatever that you can grab, you can buy something from the store that's better. Two cups. Now, I like mine a little bit more, so I always put a little bit more water. Maybe just like a half a cup or less. That's just so it's not so thick for me. All right, now that we've got our whole smoothie together, we're gonna blend it. Now it's gonna get really loud. I blend it for about a minute.
that green and fruit, that's about how much you're going to have by the end. Okay? So it's going to go down to about half. Now, you can divide this into three smoothies into containers. Now, I have two big containers because that's what I have and I use. So this has a ball at the bottom of it so I can stir it up because what happens is, is as it sets, it will separate. So I definitely like to have that in there so I can pick it up before I drink it. All right. So I have two of these that I use. I take one to work and I have one for home and I divide it up as best I can. So I'm drinking, you know, my smoothies. Now, if you want to divide it into three, you can go for it and keep in mind, this is for one person. This is not for three people. Okay. Unless you're doing one smoothie a day. I'm doing three. So what I do is, is the one I take to work, I always try to fill it the fullest because I need at least two smoothies at work. The rest of it goes in the other one for when I get home in the evening. Okay. So it looks something like this. Okay. You should be drinking somewhere between 12 and 14 ounces in each smoothie, okay? So with drinking that in each smoothie, you can divide that up and you can drink your smoothie breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? For the detox and then have your snacks in between. I drink it throughout the day. That's something you can do. If you feel like you need to sip on it throughout the day, you can do that. And that's what I do. So see, that's the one I take to lunch. So just to give you an idea of, you're talking 14 ounces. So it's about that much that you're drinking in a serving, okay? Somewhere between that and that, okay? So you see how much that is? It's about that much, okay, in a glass. So that's what you should be drinking each serving. Now, with with what I do with the snacks, the snacks I eat are nuts and I rotate those, almonds, um, cashews, walnuts, uh, pecans, and I only use a handful, okay? I use two hard boiled eggs throughout the day, depending on how I feel. Sometimes I, at first I had three, so I have that. And um, then I use fruits and vegetables to supplement the rest of the day and just raw fruits and vegetables and eat them. That is your 10 day detox, all right? That's the full one, the full version, okay? If you are doing the modified version, you would do two smoothies, so you wanna knock this down a little bit, or you can do the full smoothie and a light meal. I'm talking a salad with a lean meat and that kind of thing, very small, okay? That's the modified version. One meal, two smoothies. Okay? So, that's how I do my smoothies. Please comment below and let me know how it goes. I know these are longer, so I, I appreciate you guys watching these. Have a great day.